All right, here at About You Outreach in New York City with 2023 DB Musa Kane. Uh, Musa, off season, just finished your, your season at Blair a few months ago. You're in the off season. How's it, how's it going? What have you been up to? What have you been working on this off season? Uh, I've been working on like my my footwork. I'm just trying to get my feet as best as I can. I'm trying to get bigger, faster, stronger all the time. Uh, taking some of my recruiting visits, seeing what schools I think I fit, I fit best in, and just having a good time. And you've grown since last time I see you. What's your what's your latest height and weight? Uh, I'm about six one, six two, one eighty five to one ninety. I fluctuate in between those weights. Yeah. Nice. And you talked about recruiting a little bit. Tell us, you know, where are some of the visits you've taken uh, so far this this winter? Uh, uh, most recently, I've been to Rutgers, Oklahoma. Uh, I went to Penn State in January, and yeah. And you got uh, you got a couple more coming up. Where are you going to be the next next couple weeks? Uh, next uh, next Friday, I'm going to be in Wake Forest and Duke. Wake Forest and Duke, and then um, take a little bit of break. Maybe in the spring, in the summer, start thinking about a few more visits. Maybe some camps. Maybe official visits. Is the plan for you to take your official visits this summer and then work toward a decision, or, or what are you thinking on that end? Uh, I'm thinking about probably taking a couple in the summer, maybe one in the spring, and maybe take a couple after our fall season because our fall season ends pretty early. Yeah. And then you know make a decision whenever you're comfortable, or you have a set set time in mind when you want to make a decision. Whenever, whenever I'm comfortable. Nice. And you know when you think about the things that you're going to be looking for in a school, what what's what's most important to you? Uh, I think getting to know my coaches uh, and the players really well, having a good relationship with them, knowing that they're going to be there when I'm there, uh, going there again, a great education, uh, a good fit for me as a person, not just like like if, I, if it's a big school, if it's a small school, uh, things of that nature. And you got a bunch of offers, but um, before we go into you know the three you mentioned that you just visited, what any schools that haven't offered yet that you'd like to – to maybe hear from the next next uh, few months. Uh, yeah. Hope hopefully I'll hear from like uh, Ohio State, Georgia, oh of course Bama, uh, schools of those natures, LSU, yeah, some West Coast schools because I get no love from the West Coast. <laughs> it is cool. Yeah, it's too cold out for them right now. Maybe in the <laughs> spring they'll come out here, but. Uh, yeah, no, it's great. Hopefully some of those schools, you know, Coach Fran Brown going down to Georgia, maybe maybe they'll be on you soon. We'll, we'll see. But let's talk about the schools you've been to recently. Um, we'll, we'll start with Penn State. I know you were there, what was it, like late January? I think you were there. Um, they've had some coaching changes. Manny Diaz, new defensive coordinators, you know, but, but fairly the same structure overall. How do you feel about Penn State? How was that visit? What's your relationship like with them? Uh, when when I was there, uh, I just wanted to uh, get to know Manny Diaz. Uh, that wasn't that wasn't my first time seeing him ever because I remember I saw him when he was at when he was at before he was in the head coach in Miami when he was recruiting uh, one of their players, Jared. Uh, that's when the first time I saw him. So I talked to him there, but I was a really young kid. So uh, I came back and I talked to him like like actually as an actual recruit, and I'm like I'm like all right, he he knows what he's doing. Uh, he's gonna run a great defense. I uh, have full belief in him. Um, I got to talk to Coach Smith again, Coach Poindexter, who's uh, at Purdue when my brother's there. So, like, it was just rebuilding our, our relationship, or building it up. Yeah, what do you like most about Penn State? What excites you about them? Uh, I think they go on, like, Coach Smith, he keeps it real all the time. Poindexter, I've already had a really good connection with him. Uh, coach Franklin, he's a great dude, great coach. Uh, I just think, like, the relationships I have with those coaches are really good. Yeah, and then you went to Oklahoma for the first time a couple weeks back. They offered you Coach Venables. You had a relationship with him at Clemson as the defensive coordinator. Now he's the head coach. Um, talk to us a little bit about Oklahoma. I know it was your first time there. What did you think of that visit? What was that experience like for you? Uh, I think it was a great visit. Uh, it was it was really a football town. Like the football the football facility is in the middle of campus. I was like the first time I seen that. And, like their friends on Twitter or everybody in the state, they like they know football and they breathe, or they breathe and love it. Uh, and then I went to the uh, the coaching room. I mean the coaching staff. I met a bunch of coaches: Coach Roof, Coach Vlad, met Ven uh, Coach Venables again. Uh, they was like all great guys, really high energy, high pace, and they just it was just a great visit. It's safe to say, you know, that's that's a school you're going to be. Uh you know, top of your list or near the top of your list, your top group moving forward? 
yeah, they're going to be near the top of my list. Awesome. And then, you know, Rutgers has been recruiting you for a long time. Obviously, Coach Ciano, a big part of that. You got to visit um, just this past weekend. How was that latest visit for you? Uh, this was my first time going to visit to, like, actually be in the meeting rooms and be watching practice. So uh, I was, it was great because I got to learn what the players were learning. Like, they was learning it for the first time, too, and I was also learning it. So I got to – uh, get that sense of like how it feels to be a college football player and then I saw the coaches coach like I met coach Frazier a million times but I've never seen him actually coach and like he even though he's he's pretty old but he's like high he's high energy uh getting the guys going all the coaches are all all uh, they all in all black running around the field coach Chiano's holding everybody accountable whether it's a player a coach or recruit and yeah it was just a great visit yeah, I know Coach Brown recently left. They just brought in two new DB coaches. Um, no, you haven't really had a chance to talk to them too much. What, what's your thoughts on their new hires? And, um, you know, is is getting to talk to them, getting to know them something you're looking forward to? Yeah, def definitely. Uh, I talked to a uh, new corners coach a little bit uh, when I was there. He seemed like he was he was a really cool dude. And uh, I didn't even know at the time that he was, he was uh, might have been the corners coach. He was just talking to me. I just thought I thought he was just there to be there, so he was just like a really genuine dude. He did he did he looked pretty humble. He didn't, uh, he didn't talk too much, but when he did talk, he was just talking ball. And what's your relationship like with Coach Yano there? Coach Yano, uh, I call uh, we text text every couple of days now. Uh, every time I go there, we we have a one on one conversation. We have a really good relationship. So you know, Rutgers another school that's going to be in high consideration for you. Yeah, definitely. All right, Musa. Well, look, you know, we wish you the best of luck. Have fun this weekend on your visits. Um, no, no many more offers are to come, and we're excited to continue to follow your recruitment. Thank you.